everybody, welcome back to another episode of BGC Series 10, where today we're going to be hopping on the ranked ladder here with this team that has x Cloud on it. Um, this team comes to us courtesy of um, our friend Why Am I Here Again in the Discord server and also on YouTube. I think their name on YouTube is, is Skeletti though. So, uh, there you go. <laughs> um, they really wanted to make this x Cloud team <coughs> with a lot of help. <coughs> From all the people in the Discord server that got it done. Um, let's, let's talk about it really quick. <clears throat> I haven't used it yet. So this is going to be my first time using it. So hopefully I can uh, divine what it <laughs> what it does correctly. Uh, first up with this x -Cloud, it's kind of a little bit of um, support. A little bit of um, offense. we got Icy Wind, Flamethrower, Circle Throw, Hyper Voice. Basically, with Scrappy, Hyper Voice can hit Ghost types, and then Flamethrower is here for like Zacian and stuff. Um, we got Icy Wind for a little bit of speed control, and then Circle Throw <coughs> will make the opponent switch out so that we can use it on like Xerneas or anything that gets set up, really. Um, at Rillaboom for Rillaboom things, pretty standard like Miracle Seed set. Um, Aegis Slash is here, I'm assuming, to help our Calyrex match up a little bit. Um, and also, it can hit Xerneas pretty hard. We have a ho -Oh. ho -Oh is really nice. It's Rocky Head ho -Oh, with Generator. Um, you know, it's pretty standard kind of ho -Oh stuff. Um, we have Water Urshifu with Choice Band. Does huge, huge damage. And then we have Tailwind. Um, Wounds a Cop that also has Encore. Pretty scary, actually. Um, I do not enjoy playing against <coughs> Encore Wounds Cop. So, we'll see how that goes for me. <coughs> As always, guys, if you like this video, please leave me a like. Leave me a comment. Tell me what kind of Pokemon you want to see. Tell me what you think about this x -Cloud team. Um, I have never used x -Cloud, so we'll see. Um, tell me what you think about the thumbnail. You know, people people should comment about the thumbnail more. I work real hard on them. I made this one uh, yesterday because uh, I wanted to make sure I was going to have enough time to record this morning. <clears throat> yeah, we're still under a thousand though, which is kind of great. Hopefully, we don't uh, we don't wreck our rating today. <clears throat> <clears throat> Jeez, Louise! I'm starting to think it's not my voice; it's something else. I think I'm just really like nauseous in the morning. I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's my maybe it's my gut health. Maybe I have an unhealthy stomach. Oh oh, my Twitch. Follow my Twitch, please. Uh, I know I'm not live streaming this one today, but most of my in-game content has been live stream content. And you know, I mean, if you don't like that, then you don't have to follow my Twitch. But it'd be nice. I'm trying to get to 50 followers. Um, let's see here. How do we? What do we do? <clears throat> This shouldn't be a terrible matchup as long as we can play around the Oranguru. I wonder if... <clears throat> hmm. Let's do... Hmm. That fake out is pretty scary, isn't it? Alright, let's do this. I'm gonna bring x -Cloud. I don't really know. <coughs> Maybe I should have led Whimsicott for Encore. But then if we get faked out, we just... <laughs> lose our Whimsicott, you know? <sighs> it's a jack button. I don't know, I'm thinking Choice Band Urshifu can KO this, uh, this Oranguru for us. But they're probably gonna lead Oranguru Mien, shall? Yeah. It's a pretty standard lead. I wonder if it's a jack pack, uh, Mian Shell. It probably is, right? I'm gonna go ahead and I just Iron Head into the Mian Shell. And I'm gonna go for this Surging Strikes, and hopefully we get it. I don't know if we'll KO, but it'd be pretty nice if we did. They do just fake out into Urshifu. <clears throat> I mean, that's what I was expecting, so... Ooh, 
we are very strong Aegislash. Slash. They didn't go for the trick room. That's crazy. Well, I hope this surging strikes KOs. <clears throat> I don't think it will. <laughs> if not, we're probably just going to lose our Age of Slash. Um, they got a trick room this turn, right? Like... Aegislash is also not slower than Calyrex, you know? Oh, it's not going to be enough. It's not going to be enough. I should have, like, U-turned or something. Mm, it lives with, like, 1 HP. They foul play again. All right, well, they're not going to get Trick Room off this game. So that's pretty good for us, actually. Um, what do I want to bring in here? <clears throat> I kind of want to bring in X-Cloud because it has spread. That way we can hit the uh, Rangaroo no matter what. What comes in? Incineroar comes in. Okay, that's fine. We will get rid of this Rangaroo no matter what. And that Intimidate's not going to matter because... Yo, sweet. Scrappy ignores Intimidate? I forgot that they buffed it to ignore Intimidate. Yeah, I'm sure I'm just going to Hyper Voice and click, click Surging Strikes into this uh, Incineroar. <clears throat> Hopefully they fake out the Urshifu again. Okay, perfect. <laughs> Goodbye. Alright, x took a KO, guys. There's the Calyrex. Um, I wonder if it's weakness policy. I don't think I want to risk flamethrowering into it. Because just in case it's weakness policy. So I'm just going to hyper voice again. Go for the surging strikes into Incineroar. I've got no reason not to. <clears throat> and honestly, this Calyrex probably can't do anything about this Urshifu. <laughs> Even if they have a berry, they die. <clears throat> I mean, even if they don't, like, probably Hyper Voice could even it out. This whole time we've been choice banned and they didn't know. Can I get the last hit into Calyrex? Can that be a... That'd be too busted. A little bit of chip with the single target Hyper Voice. With the Calyrex Trick Rooms. Okay. Okay. Very interesting. <clears throat> I should take... Both of my mons should take an attack from this Calyrex. Unless they're running Zen Headbutt. And if they're running Zen Headbutt, then... Like, there's really nothing I can do about it. You know what I mean? Urshifu can just sweep for us. Ooh, close combat. <laughs> Our Urshifu is very bulky. Uh, that defense drop might be enough for it to just go down this turn. Oh, they're White Herb. Okay. Okay. <clears throat> a little bit more chip. That might be in Surging Strikes range. Ah, uh, yeah, I think they're in Surging Strikes range. I think they either they live with like a very, very small amount of HP or they go down. Nice. Nice. X Cloud did the things, guys. <clears throat> Even if they didn't KO and they like somehow killed both of our mods, we still have Hollow in the back, so. Our win condition was just KO everything with Urshifu. They were not ready. <coughs> and really, it was because they decided to click Foul Play in the Aegis Slash twice. Like, I, I guess they were just afraid of Wide Guard. Which, you know, is, is fair. I don't know why I'm checking the team. I didn't mean to. Yeah, they should have just Trick Room that Orangaroo on turn one. Like, they would have probably won the game if they had. Maybe not. Maybe one is a strong word, but... It would have made it a lot harder. E getting even closer to the top. 
We are unstoppable this month. <coughs> a freight train. Ooh, 253. All right, Krom from Fire Emblem. Ah, this is this might be a hard matchup for us actually. That is that is a whole Kyogre and <laughs> three Pokemon that resist Rillaboom. Um, hmm. <clears throat> I'm kind of thinking Rillaboom Urshifu to be honest. And then I think I bring, well. They don't have any speed control. Do they? Oh, I guess Mantine gets Tailwind. Mantine does get Tailwind. I think I think Ho has to stay at home. What moves does this have? Hmm. I have to bring Ho because it's the only thing that deals with <clears throat> Registeel and Caesar. <clears throat> yeah. I think our Urshifu can take like one water spout <coughs> and probably deal a ridiculous amount of damage back. Ah, uh, maybe I should have went just Aegis slash Urshifu. That probably would have been smart. Incense Caesar, okay. <coughs> That's definitely an option. I think Rilla has to switch out here, um, but Urshifu can definitely just stay in. Or I could fake out on them, but then I might lose my Rillaboom to uh, to Caesar. You know, let's do this. If they, if they fake out into Rillaboom, then our Urshifu just gets to KO their, their Incineroar, and there's nothing they can do about it. Uh, if they fake out Urshifu, then we fake out Caesar. This is a pretty safe play. Oh, into Hoomst. Interesting. <clears throat> this is still going to do a very, very large chunk of damage. <clears throat> They probably thought I faked out into Incineroar. I think we made a very good play here. It's very aggressive, but I'm okay with that. Oh god. Oh, this, this Kyogre is going to be a 25% less than that. Oh my goodness. Urshifu, you're a monster. So I think this turn, they're probably going to protect Kyogre, right? So I'm going to protect my Rillaboom and Surging Strikes into the Caesar. Because, like, I can I can pretty much just deal with Kyogre at my leisure now. All I really need is one hit from, from Rillaboom to KO it. <clears throat> ah, the Kyogre does not protect. What does it go for? Origin Pulse? That's fine. <coughs> Urshifu should take that pretty okay. <coughs> um, And we're going to move before Caesar, so we might just even KO it because of the rain. Giving me rain was the mistake here. <laughs> God. <laughs> Our choice ban Urshifu in the rain KOs something with a base 50 power critical hit. God, golly, gee whiz. <clears throat> if anything, this is a case study for why you should run Choice Band Urshifu. <clears throat> oh, it's the man team. Alright, well now I'm gonna Grassy Glide. And I'm also gonna Surging Strikes, because no matter what this Kyogre does, it's gone. It's well, They're gonna lose it. Unless it switches, and if it switches, they're probably going to lose their Incineroar. Oh, I guess they could, uh... Mantine gets, like, Hurricane, doesn't it? It's got to get some kind of Flying-type move. It'll probably target down Urshifu. 
we get the grassy glide off. A little bit of chip. Hurricane. <laughs> you have made a mistake, my friend. We have Aegis Slash in the back, so... <clears throat> Honestly, the Aegis Slash can maybe even deal with uh, Kyogre all by itself. That is one hit. Holy cow. That is one... That's like basically hitting this Incineroar with a crit Aqua Jet. That is ridiculous. Um, let me think about this here. How many turns of rain are left? One, two, three. Like, two turns. I'm gonna just go Aegis Slash. I was thinking about going Ho-Oh and just, like, protecting and switching into Aegis Slash, but I'll just go Aegis Slash. Um, honestly, Shadow Sneak might even KO the Kyogre. So I'm gonna go ahead and Shadow Sneak and switch into ho -Oh. <clears throat> I'm hoping the Shadow Sneak does KO the Kyogre, but we might miss it. And if we do, we'll be okay. I think we'll still keep our Aegis Slash and we can just KO it next turn. Oh, right, where we will lose our... Oh, because we're Sash. We're Sash. This is a very aggressive play. Yeah, they do live. They go for Scald into the Aegis Slash slot. Um, ho -Oh gets off scot-free this turn. Oh, but we get burned. That's bad. Yeah, they just hurricane. Hmm, that burn's pretty bad. I don't think I'm running a priority move on my Urshifu. So this is probably Scarf Kyogre, right? Oh, that grassy terrain? Do we live? Age of Slash. Aegis Slash, you're so good. Thank you so much. It's gotta be Scarf Kyogre since it's faster than the Mantine, right? I'm gonna go ahead and just... How many turns of rain are left? Just one. Yeah, I'll just protect Ho this turn. <clears throat> yeah. This Kyogre doesn't have, uh, doesn't have protect. <clears throat> Please KO. I know that we're burned now, but... Okay, cool. Great. Perfect. <clears throat> Phantasmic. Alright, well... <clears throat> Does it not have a water type move? Why did it go for Hurricane? Maybe they thought I would switch into Urshifu? Um, I'm gonna go and just King Shield up. Ooh, actually, I will die to just, just die to burn this turn, won't I? Let me just Iron Head. Uh, actually, King Sh the Shadow Sneak does more damage, doesn't it? Let's Shadow Sneak and Brave Bird. <clears throat> I could still lose this game. <clears throat> if this KOs. Ho, oh, come on. Ho, oh, no. No, oh. Um, that's really bad. It's Life Orb? Since when? <laughs> um, alright, Urshifu, you got me? You got me, buddy? I don't have any moves to hit this thing with. Surging Strikes is probably my best move. Alright, they can miss Hurricane. Miss the Hurricane. Miss the Hurricane. Miss the Hurricane. Miss the Hurricane. Oh, we're faster? What? Please KO. I think we do it. I think that KOs. Yeah, 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 yeah. Woo. Huh. <coughs> uh, everybody who was, who was praying for me at home, thank you. Um, your, uh, your, <laughs> your support is what allowed Urshifu to outspeed the Mantine. Alright, let's get at least one more. <coughs> Yo, this is like this is a great morning. We're having a great time. Ooh, sorry, that was probably really loud. I apologize.
All right, what do you got? Show them to me. There, ooh, if we lose, we're gonna get... Okay. Actually, this is a Groudon team. Oh, it's THE Groudon team, isn't it? The one that's been running around everywhere? Um, okay, so I don't have any way to change the weather, but I think that's okay. We are Choice Band, Urshifu. And if we Tailwind, like, we're gonna do just a ton of stuff, right? Let's go... I think I'm gonna go Whimsicott, Urshifu. <laughs> Urshifu is our restricted, everybody. Do I bring Xbot? What does Xbot do here, right? Uh, it, I feel like it doesn't do a whole lot here. It's not for this matchup. I mean, it's, it's good. It's just not for this matchup. You know what I mean? Let's do this. I think that's a good, a good way to go here. <clears throat> Choice Band Urshifu is what's, uh, is what's, is what's, what's cooking, you know? I'm high on it. We gotta bring it to all the games. It's our restricted. It takes all the KOs. <laughs> okay, um, this, this type of Coco is actually pretty scary. Not gonna lie. I will update. OBS is trying to update. I'll update it after. You can't ask me if I want to update in the middle of a recording, OBS. Come on. Let me just protect. <clears throat> and honestly, I think I need to just switch Tepa Coco out. They're probably going to attack into it. I'm going to switch into Rillaboom. Makes me sad switching the, the, the Urshifu out. Because, like... If they didn't have fake out pressure, we'd be in a very commanding situation here, I feel like. You know what I mean? Alright. Hopefully they didn't call that and just flare blitz into Urshifu. That'd be crazy. Oh, d -gleam. I, uh, I would have lived this turn. Urshifu would have been fine. Wow! I could have kept the Urshifu in. Man, that's that's insane. Um, okay, well. Let me think about this. I'm gonna go ahead and Tailwind. Just to have it. I think I'm gonna wood hammer this type of cocoa slot. That way if it's even if it switches, we'll smack whatever comes in. <clears throat> hmm. Having some way to change the weather would be nice, but we don't really want rain on this team anyway, so you know what I mean? They do D-Gleam, so our Whimsicott will get the switch out, which is honestly really good, because now Urshifu comes in for free. Um, and we probably KO this Tapu Koko with Woodhammer, to be honest. This is Miracle Seed, Grassy Terrain, Woodhammer. Yeah, goodbye Tapu Koko. <clears throat> and they might just Flare Blitz into Urshifu, let's see. Ah, uh, that might be Rillaboom. Yeah, that's fine. I'm alright with losing it. It did its job. It got a terrain for us. <coughs> you know? Um, I think Ho-Oh comes in here. Because now we have Tail. Even if Groudon comes in, Ho-Oh is going to be in a very good spot. Let's see. Yeah, there's the Groudon. I think I, I kind of want to just double into it, actually. If I'm being honest. What do they have to switch into? Oh, that's not what I wanted. This one. They could switch into, like... They could switch into Entei if they have it. That's really it, right? I'm gonna do this. 
Um, that's gonna do a good chunk to this Groudon if they keep it in. They could just protect too, but even then the Surging Strikes will hit it, and this Incineroar isn't really in a position to do a whole lot <clears throat> against these two Pokemon. Uh, yeah, they get like Parting Shot, but I'd be okay with that. Surging Strikes doesn't care. Uh, critical hits do not ignore the sun, though, so we'll see how much this, uh, this actually does. Alright. Come on, let's KO a Grout on this turn. Ooh, that's a lot of damage. That's gonna be, like, 50%. Sacred Fire might KO. As long as we land it, that is. Please land the Sacred Fire. You got this, ho You got me? Come on. Ho, oh, ho, oh, ho, oh. Heck yeah. Ooh. U-turn. All right, so they're going to get an Intimidate off and have Fake Out Pressure, but, like, honestly, I don't know if I care. What's the last Pokemon? Is it Entei? It is Entei. All right, that's fine. Um, We just got to get around the Rock-type move, and we still have Whimsicott in the back, so we're going to be okay. <clears throat> All I have to do is get rid of this Entei, and we win. Um, I'm gonna go ahead and just Surging Strikes into Entei, and protect my ho this turn, just for the Fake Out Pressure. Next turn, we can probably just Brave Bird into it. Let's see. Fake Out... Ah, into Urshifu. Okay, what does Entei do? Eruption Entei. Oh, actually, that's bad. That's gonna do a lot of damage. Please live. You got me, Urshifu? Yeah, you got me. Urshifu the boy. Um, if it's Eruption Entei, it's probably Scarf, right? You gotta think. I'm gonna go ahead and just do this. Let's see. I don't know how much speed I'm running, but, I mean, I guess I'm running enough speed to outspeed the Entei. Alright, get some damage down. <laughs> that is in the sun. Oh my, that's gonna KO. Brother, Choice Band Urshifu just, just absolutely destroying everything. Destroys the rain, destroys the sun. What did the uh, Incineroar even go for? Flare Blitz? I mean, that's fair. Maybe in the sun that... Oh, no, not, not to Ho-Oh. Ho-Oh -Oh doesn't care. That That's probably Surging Strikes range, to be honest. Uh, I guess if they have a recovery item, it might not be Surging Strikes or my range, but... but... Yeah, I'm just gonna double. There's no point switching. I was gonna switch for, like, to reset the Intimidates and stuff, but... Aw, uh, they just give up. Okay, well, hey, that was that was great. That went really well. We only got to bring the X-Pod once, but you know what? It did its job, that game. Um, it feels, it feels a really, like, specific niche, you know what I mean? Um, yeah, that's, that's it, guys. Um, if you like this video, again, leave me a like. Go follow me on Twitch. Um, I'll probably be live streaming Metroid Dread on Friday, um, at, at like, I don't know, like, 7.30 p.m. or something like that, Eastern Standard Time. Uh, so go follow me on Twitch if you want to see that, where, you know, I stream Pokemon all the time. If you like to watch Pokemon, obviously you're here. You like to watch Pokemon. And if you're all the way at the end of the video, um, and you are not subscribed, what are you doing? Subscribe. It's like a 30-minute video. Uh, with that, everybody, my name's Andrew. I'll catch you guys next time.